First class requirement number four, part E. On one camp out, serve as your patrol's cook. Prepare the breakfast, lunch, and dinner planned in requirement for A. Lead your patrol in saying grace at the meals and supervise cleanup. Well, we've come a long way since we started requirement for A. We planned, purchased, and protected food, learned to pick our pots and pans, and to pack it in and pack it out. Wow, we're almost back where we came in. Ah, uh, yes, I remember it well. Hold it. That's far enough. Aha! Time to eat? Not yet, but it's almost time to start cooking. As a second class scout, you learn the skills required to build a campfire, how to make a safe fire site, how to lay a fire with tinder, kindling, and fuel wood, and how to manage a fire safely. Should we put these on top since they're uh, the light flames? Um, put them around them. Around, okay. Now, as you're approaching first class, it's time to take on more of a leadership or supervisory role. Supervising really means teaching. Sometimes you teach by showing how something is done, other times by watching and giving advice. All you need to be a good supervisor is to know your stuff and remember how it felt when you were the assistant. We're ready to cook. By now you probably know that a big part of cooking success is having a controlled fire with a bed of glowing coals. You don't need a large cooking fire, just like you don't want the flame on a camp stove turned up too high. It's a good idea to organize your area before you start cooking. Clear a space to assemble your ingredients. Make sure it's level so things don't tip over. Think through everything you'll need until the food finishes cooking and get it ready before you start. Have your utensils ready and once you do start cooking, stay focused on your task. Be sure you have hot pads or pot hooks for grabbing hot handles. And know where you're going to set a hot pan down before you lift it off the fire. Then before you enjoy that meal, take a few seconds to give thanks. The Philmont Grace is something you can all do together. For food, for Raymond, for life, for opportunity, for friendship and fellowship, we thank thee, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go, let's eat and uh, we move on. With every meal comes cleanup, and the best way is by sharing the load. Your patrol leader can make up a duty roster before the camp out. That way, everything gets done, but the work is shared equally. And remember, your Boy Scout handbook has some excellent tips on the fine art of dishwashing. Most important, before you leave your campsite, even for a short period of time, be sure that your cooking fire is out, using the cold out test. When someone runs their hand through the extinguished coals, if the embers are still hot, douse with more water. Never leave a burning fire unattended. You know, you can apply all the hints and guidelines we've just talked about to every single meal you cook. Every meal? Even that golden brown grilled cheese sandwich that melts in your mouth at lunch? Even lunch. And what about that savory camp stew simmering in a rich, beefy broth that we almost had for dinner? I think I see where this is going. Guess who's coming to dinner? All right already. Let's go for it. That's first class requirement 4E. Supervise cooking and cleanup of breakfast, lunch, and dinner for your patrol and lead your patrol in grace before each meal.